If you don't clean your washing machine regularly, it won't clean your clothes well, and even your clothes may start to smell. That's because over time, a lot of gunk, including soap residue, dirt, and even mold or mildew, start to accumulate in your washing machine. So today, we're going to deep clean this 7kg LG front loading washing machine. You use these steps to clean most other front load washing machines, but check your user manual just to be sure. Please subscribe to Shopping Guide for more videos on how to buy, use, and maintain common home appliances. There are four important areas of a washing machine that need to be cleaned regularly. The inside of the washing machine, including the drum, around the door of the washing machine, and especially the rubber gaskets, a lot of dirt, bacteria, mold, and mildew accumulate here. The detergent compartment or drawer, where a lot of soap residue accumulates, and finally, the drain and filter. I'm going to start by wiping down the door and the exterior of the washing machine using a vinegar solution. It's great for killing the mold and mildew, getting rid of any scale, and eliminating smells. You can also use a mixture of liquid dish soap and water, or mix some bleach and water. Make sure you really get inside those gaskets, because that's where a lot of the dirt is. Don't forget to wipe the door and the outside of the washing machine. Next, we are going to tackle the detergent drawer. The best way to clean it is to remove it completely from the washing machine. We will then wipe it down using the same vinegar solution. You can use an old toothbrush to clean hard to reach areas. Before we put it back, just take a look at this area where the detergent compartment sits. It's really dirty, so we'll need to clean it first. The vinegar solution should work great at removing the soap buildup. Once it's clean, we put the detergent drawer back and move on to the drain and filter. The first step is to drain any remaining water. You can drain the water into a container if you don't want it running on the floor. Then we remove the filter, clean the drain area, and wipe down the filter as well. The final step is cleaning the inside of the washing machine. We are going to let it do this on its own. There are tablets you can use to clean your washing machine, but they are generally expensive. A cheaper solution is to use baking soda and vinegar. For a really drip and thorough clean, I like to run two cleaning cycles. One using baking soda and the other using vinegar. Never use baking soda and vinegar at the same time. They'll just cancel each other out. Pour about one and a half packets of baking soda directly inside the drum. Add the remaining half packet to the drawer compartment. For the cleaning cycle, you have two options. You can select the cotton setting and then set the temperature to 60 degrees or higher. Alternatively, select the washing machine's auto cleaning cycle, which automatically washes the washing machine at a high temperature. Once the first cycle is complete, repeat it again, this time using vinegar. As with the baking soda, add some vinegar directly to the drum and some to the detergent compartment. A little of vinegar should be enough. And that's it. Once you clean your washing machine, you'll note that your clothes are getting cleaner and they smell fresh. Repeat this process at least once a month.